Okay, this is uh, job number 21007. It's called the Schmiel Short Plat. We're bidding this to Team Nelson. Um, Tracy Gregg is the senior estimator, guy I went to college with. He's got an asphalt job that's in our wheelhouse here in Woodenville off of 130th Avenue Northeast right here. Address. 20119 130th Avenue Northeast in Woodenville. And let's show you what it looks like out on the road here. So this is 130th Avenue Northeast, and the property is right about in here where they're doing the work. So currently it's a two-lane road, and they're going to be putting in some sidewalk and curb and gutter. And on 130th Avenue Northeast, we need to provide traffic control in this section. Let me show you a different page. Okay, so here's 130th Avenue Northeast, and in the orange is uh, where they need about two foot wide, he said, two foot wide by um, whatever the length is of curb and gutter, they need uh, some three inch HMA restoration. So that means three, eight, or excuse me, three, eight, three inch HMA uh, class, half inch, 318 square feet total on 130th Avenue Northeast where the orange is, okay? We provide traffic control, meaning flaggers. We bring out TC equipment, okay? And we'll give them a price for that. And then uh, we do not need a traffic control plan. They have it. So we're gonna give them a price to provide the TC with the flaggers and the signage. And then uh, he can tell me whether or not he's gonna end up uh, doing it himself or not. But for now, he wants me to include it. Okay, then there's tract A and tract B, which is all one right here in the red. Uh, this plat right here, this entrance to this plat uh, requires two two-inch lifts, so four-inch total HMA, um, and it also is a class half-inch, not modified B. And it's 6,141 square feet. On the um, on sheet six of nine, it says under tract A, pervious asphalt, 2,380 square feet on tract A, which is like right in this area. And then you've got tract B, shared driveway and utilities. That is uh, 3,761 square feet. So grand total, 6,141 square feet. Okay, um, there are also uh, some signage, uh, no parking fire lane signs. Uh, there's a total of one, two, three, um, I believe there's a fourth one right here, four, and five. Uh, we need high intensity, no parking fire lane signs. We need... Uh, 12 foot uh, by two inch square, the two by two square um, quick punch posts. Those are the uh, posts that don't have the holes in it, but they're perforated that you can uh, quickly punch out. And then we also need the seven gauge heavy duty uh, sleeve anchors. So we'll have to have a sleeve anchor for each sign, for all six signs or excuse me, five, for the five signs. We need five no parking fire lane signs, five uh, 12 foot quick punch posts, and then we need uh, five seven gauge heavy duty sleeve anchors. Those sleeve anchors, um, I believe we can get 30 inch and we can get all of that, all the post sleeve anchor stuff, we can get at National Barricade. And if we want to buy the signs from Alpine, we can buy the signs from Alpine. Okay, each post is going to take about two bags of concrete to install. Um, each post will take anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Might go quicker if we, um, well, if we have three guys on it, it'll probably be about a half an hour per, per sign and post uh, to dig put the um, sleeve anchors in, get them set, and then put the posts inside of that. Um, 
so there you have it on that. Um, we need to get this bid to Tracy as soon as possible. He's trying to turn in a bid to the owner, and I think it's Dr. Horton that he's turning it into. All these drawings will be saved to Google Drive, and there is an aerial map that will be saved to Google Drive as well. Okay, any other questions, let me know. Thank you.